Welcome back to part six of our live training session here with our 2004 Honda Civic Si. In this training module, we're gonna take a look at doing full throttle tuning and part throttle tuning once again, but we're gonna be moving into our high cam or VTEC operation. So we're gonna look at how to dial fuel, spark timing, variable cam control, and we're also gonna take a look at setting our VTEC engagement point up here in this training module. We have a lot to talk about. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Welcome back to our live training session here with our K24 swapped EP3 Civic. In this training module, we're going to jump right into dialing in our high cam tuning. This is our VTEC tuning. In the last tutorial, we finished up our wide open throttle, low cam, or non VTEC tuning. So let's go over what we've done in that last tutorial and let's talk about where we're going to be for this tutorial and what changes we need to make. We also need to set up our dyno here so it's going to be doing the correct RPM range for our pools and then we're gonna go through and just start the calibration process. It's pretty straightforward. So let's jump in here. So very first thing we're gonna take a look at here is the relationship we have here for the VE Table 1, VE Table 2. Now the way I have this configured in our settings is that VE Table 1 here is gonna be for the air mass representation on low cam. VE Table 2 is gonna be for VTEC. So it transitions between these two tables when the VTEC engages. Now we need to go in and set our VTEC engagement point lower here so we're locked onto VTEC so we can get an idea of what's going on on high cam. And then we can figure out our VTEC point at the end of the tutorial once we sort out um, all of our airflow model and our spark timing. So first thing we'll do here is go into wizards and let's just set our VTEC point at 3000. We're gonna set it low on purpose so we can get onto the high cam easier to map out things like our part throttle and full throttle. We're not gonna leave it at, at 3000. It's definitely pretty low, we'll make the car undrivable. If we go here to our high side and our outputs, this is gonna be where we have our VTEC activation programming. I'm gonna set my off below here at 2800. I'm gonna set my on here at 3000. I'm gonna set my throttle threshold to engage this, something really low right now, so it's easy to get into VTEC. I'll put it at 10% throttle. And let's go ahead and close this out. We'll do shift control C. Now, it's gonna get into VTEC really easy. One thing we're gonna do here, real quickly, as we're on the topic of our VE table two, we're gonna go into our table here and get rid of our breakpoint axes that don't make sense. And that's gonna be anything below 3000. We don't need the table to be as large. There's no advantage to having our breakpoints going from 500 to 2500. We're simply gonna be dropping out of VTEC by that point. So we don't need to worry about populating any further cell values or breakpoint values here in the table. Let's go quickly do that. If we go click up here on the white axes, up top here, the white banner bar of the table, we're gonna go here to a remove column option and we're gonna move our column zero, which was 500. We're gonna take all of the columns away until we get to 2500 would even be safe. Let's go here and just keep deleting them. Let's go to remove column at 1000 RPM, remove column 25. Uh, 1250 RPM, remove column 1500, uh, right click, remove column 2000, and shift control C. So now we've simplified the table up a little bit. The next thing we can do here is use the values that we have established from our low cam table for our high cam. Now we're going to need likely higher VE values because we have more airflow going into the engine. We're going to make ho more horsepower and torque out of the engine. What I'll do is go from 2500 to 3000 here. I'm going to copy this. I'm gonna paste it into my table here on the high cam. Now, shift control C, and we'll go ahead and save those changes. So this will be our starting point, and then we're gonna go and add to these values. Now, that preps at least our high cam table for getting into VTEC, um, and to have some values that are a little bit better starting point than what we'll find um, from the values that were previously in there. Now, what we could do here in the anticipation that we're gonna need more fuel so we don't run lean or we don't have the closed loop starting to add a bunch of fuel in, we probably could go here at our uh, negative four and higher and we'll do shift plus and we can go bump it up about another maybe 10, 15% and we can kind of backfill here, do V, just so that we have additional fueling there. We're expressing higher VE, which is expressing higher airflow, which then translates to a higher fueling amount. We're gonna increase our fueling. So shift control C, let's go ahead and add, and, uh, change that and uh, commit that to the ECU. Variable cam to control. Now we know on low cam that the variable cam control table here has been mapped out. Now unfortunately with the infinity, we only have one variable cam control table and we have two, we have the low and high cam operation. I'd like to have ideally the variable cam timing. So I'd have two tables and I have a target table one, target table two, table one would be low cam, table two would be high cam. Unfortunately, we do not have that capability of infinity. We have one table to deal with the low and high cam operation. 
So what we can do here, just to figure out uh, mapping everything out here, we can leave the values in here uh, that we have on low cam, and then we can experiment by bumping in the variable cam timing on the top end, see if it responds to that. Because this table has to do both low and high cam, we'll have to combine the tables together. So if we know our VTAC point, let's say, is at 35, 3600, we're gonna have to have our variable cam timing here account for that and being able to then at our full throttle here account for what the variable cam timing should be on high cam. Um, hopefully it makes sense. So we'll leave our values here, we'll baseline where it's at and we'll make some adjustments from that point. Now under the spark tuning, we have our spark timing here uh, configured for our low cam. When we're on high cam, we usually can run a little bit more spark timing. Now, unfortunately with the spark timing, just like variable cam timing, we only have one table to express our the uh, low and high cam spark timing. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.